legislative theater process on climate and sustainability policy. We are here in person for our socially distanced uh, process and, uh, and we're just really excited to see you. Um, we're here in the uh, Strathclyde University Technology and Innovation Center. This project uh, is a collaboration between Glasgow City Council and Shared Future CIC and myself, I'm Katie Rubin, I'm a legislative theater facilitator, and most importantly, Young Movers and Glasgow Disability Alliance. And, and just awesome group of actors, young people from Yomo and GDA have been working together for a short period of time uh, due to COVID and all the things it takes to get us together, but very uh, focused period of time, working really hard to learn, to identify issues, to create this process for you. Um, and so again, uh, we now we couldn't do this step without you, so, uh, so we're really happy to see you. And I'm going to first of all turn over to Amy uh, to introduce uh, GDA and then to CJ, CJ to introduce Yomo. So Amy, take it away. GDA is uh, an organization run by and for disabled people with over 5,000 members, and we're so excited to be part of this great project. Awesome. Yeah, GDA. Yeah. Uh, I'm CJ, and I'm from YOMO. Uh, YOMO is an empowerment charity that helps young people, c connects young people with uh, different opportunities. Uh, I go to a group every Thursday, and it's actually why I'm here in front of you right now. Um, during like the process of making this play, uh, we played games, we got to know each other, and we just had a lot of fun jotting down our ideas. So with that in mind, we would really like you to just keep in mind that everything that happens in this place, like literally almost everything in this play, uh, are our real experiences, things that actually happened to us that we wanted to show you. Absolutely. Charlotte, who's going to be co-hosting with me, <laughs> as we as we, we as we move along. So, speaking of, uh, CJ mentioned the the things that come up in this play, and we're identifying in this play some problems or barriers uh, around um, around co-creating uh, or building together, working together to think about uh, climate and environment sustainability solutions and also the challenges of how can we make a greener Glasgow and also improve the everyday lives of young people and really just of lots of people in Glasgow. So there are some problems in the play. That doesn't mean that everything that's going on is a problem. In fact, lots of good things are going on and the fact that we're all here is one good thing. But uh, speaking of problems, does anybody here have any problems? <laughs> any problems? Does it raise your hand or give us a nod if you have any problems? <laughs> I see some people don't have any problems in the back. There's no problem. Great, you have some problems. Okay, good to know. Otherwise, I want to come talk to you later. Great, okay. So, anybody ever had any problems or challenges participating in democracy in the way that you wish you could? Yeah? Anybody ever had any of those problems? So, we're going to try today to get creative and to reimagine how, how we can do that. We have the opportunity to feed into the Glasgow Transport Strategy and the City Development Plan and the overarching Climate Emergency Implementation Plan, all of those um, that, uh, that are being uh, created right now, and, and really just kind of looking ahead um, as COP26 is happening um, and all the things that, that, that Glasgow is putting into place. In fact, some of our ideas, and we'll bring this up later, that came out of the workshop that we did in July, have already fed into uh, the, the, the Glasgow Transport Strategy, including the idea of an easy read version. Uh, we'll mention that. And so our, our opportunity today is to think of what creative and out of the box, and maybe even a little upside down ideas, uh, can we see reflected down the line in, in those concrete uh, changes that are going to be made. So that's really exciting. It might be a little bit messy. In fact, it probably will. I think when democracy works well, it is messy. So if in the middle you're like, this is messy, right? I warned you. Um, and <laughs> it's a beginning of a process. We don't ever get to finish any policy making in two and a half hours. We will begin a process and we will then have some 
some things to work on moving forward. So thank you for being with us again for the beginning of that process. Now, even though it might be messy, and even though it's the beginning, we're also going to hold ourselves accountable. We're going to work together to hold ourselves accountable. So we have some people here who are going to help us be accountable and help inform us about the ideas. I want to thank them, introduce them now, and we'll see them a little bit later. We have uh, Councillor Anna Richardson, who is the city convener for sustainability and carbon reduction. Yes. We have Alan Duff, who is the uh, plan a planning officer for neighborhoods regeneration and sustainability. Yes. <laughs> we have Deborah Payton, who is a groups manager for the groups manager for the uh, oh goodness the the, the, the connectivity. Yes, I was looking for the transfer strategy for the connectivity plan uh, and the transfer strategy. We have uh, Chris Duncan, who is a public relations officer in sustainability, and we have Gavin Slater, who is the head of sustainability. And uh, so, thank you all for being here. We also have, uh, thanking uh, you for being here, we have Councillor Angus Miller, uh, thank you, <laughs> uh, who is the chair of the Council's Committee on Environment, Sustainability, and Carbon Reduction. And we have lots of audience from YOMO and GDA and other folks from the Council and other interested people. So thank you all. We're all going to be using our, our experience and our creativity today. So that's about it for me. Uh, I'm about to turn it over to Charlotte, but I will say, if you would like to tweet today, use hashtag GlasgowLT, Glasgow Legislative Theater, um, feel free to tweet about what you're hearing or learning or coming up with. Um, that would be brilliant. Um, and in that way and in other ways, you are going to take action today. We are going to invite you to take action. So you are not just spectators, right? We're not just residents who watch and listen. We're also spect actors. We're people who watch and take action. So we're going to watch and take action today. And because we're going to take action, we will need to warm up, just like we would warm up. So I'm going to turn it over to Charlotte. Definitely, we need to be warm up. So hopefully you all get a wee part of next to you. Some of you might have to move just in case. So we're going to introduce yourselves. But not the usual high of the room, kind of man up. We're going to do a wee bit of action behind it. So I'm going to give you an example. So I'm using my hand as a platform, and then I've got my other hand, and I'm going to give an action of a hobby or interest I have with it under, with, with my other hand, when I introduce myself. So, hello. Hello. I'm Charlotte, and I like to skate. Oh, cool. Charlotte skates. And I'm Katie, and I like to dance. I'm wiggling my fingers. Or if you get really excited, you can maybe stand up and. <laughs> <laughs> so over to yourselves. Introduce yourself to the person next to your closest. Go for it.
raven has eaten the woman. Oh, I can't even remember when I learned. It's so hot. And it's September. Why is it this hot in September? Didn't they say it was going to be this hot next year? No way, I can't handle that. That's way too much. It's so no. hot. But even a fan doesn't work. It just blows hot air. That's not cool. No, I don't like that. I mean, I'm not the only one that's a bit worried. I mean, we live on an island. What if we flood? I mean, there's been floods all year. There's been heat waves. It's just way too much. I can't do this. Oh, well, that's 24th century Atlantis. One thing I find really challenging is the fact that I can't social distance. And they say about green spaces and how we need to go out and do lots of things outside. But it's really challenging. All during COVID, I've not been able to go out myself because I just, how am I supposed to know if someone's in my space? And they say plant trees, but they can't if there's no space to plant trees. It's like trees and things are so important. We live in a city. Our air pollution is bad enough as it is. Like half of us in this group party have breathing problems. So what's it going to be like in the future? Hi everybody. I hope we're all discussing any two important well, it's not very important, but you're a bit telling me. I have Pinson Kent. This is my colleague Councillor Smith, a bit busy right now. This is um, Hi, I'm Caitlin from uh, Youth Rocks. Yes. We're going to tell you about an exciting opportunity for you all. Oh, okay. Good yes. Morning. So we have an event coming up and we really want to hear young people's opinions on climate change. So it'd be really keen for you guys to like come along and present. There's going to be some really important people in the audience and you can get your opinions across on what young people feel about climate change. So you need to talk about transport and how it's that's, not working? That's not what this is about. That's a different sector. We're talking about climate change. Um, and I can give you a few examples of what we want to talk about. Oh, okay. Right. We want you to talk about how people should use public transport instead of using your cars because it's taking your air. And that's just being really selfish. It's polluting your air. We want you to talk about how we want to plant more trees and how great your open spaces are. Um, and how people should go vegan because it's better for the environment and how people should use less public transport and be more active using their bikes and their walking. Oh, um, okay. Right, I'm on a really tight schedule, so we'll leave you with um, Caitlin yeah. um, and we hope to see you there because you're such a diverse group. Thanks. So guys, the event is on the 29th. Um, and it's going to be in the city centre. Um, so we would love you guys to come along, like I said, and do a presentation. Um, would you guys be up for it? Yeah, oh, you know, seeing as it's the city centre, will there be like transportation there? Um, I'm really sorry, but that's not in our budget for the event. Um, yeah, it's a really expensive venue and lunch and things like that. So we, sorry, no. Uh, so is the building accessible? Yes, the building will be accessible. It sounds like really exciting and like really wants to take part, but like will there be support for that aid? Um again, that's not something we factored in, in the budget. Um so if you could sort of meet us halfway on that one and maybe um provide your own uh, support, that would be great. Right. Um, okay. Right, okay. Does that sound good? Cool. I'll yeah. see you on the twenty nine, send you the details. Bye. Mm -hmm. I guess we should we do some research then? Yeah. yeah. Okay, turn on computer. The city believes that sustainability and social justice are intrinsically linked. Oh. And be, what does intrinsically mean? Intrinsically. What does that mean? Yeah. Intrinsically. <laughs> okay, go on. Should be seen as a single combined issue. Effective climate action can also bring about better, more equitable health. Okay, pause, 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 pause. What does equitable mean? Computer error. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going. We are conscious that transport was a key issue of concern in the public survey undertaken what? last year. Wait, wait. Did, you you did anyone else actually take part in that survey? I didn't even know it was a survey. Okay. Computer <clears throat> go. This included active travel and the need to make the city a better place for pedestrians and cyclists whilst deprivileging the private motor car. Computer, pause. Hang on a minute. Like, for some people, uh, like their own personal vehicle isn't a privilege. It's the only way they can get about. So I wouldn't say that that's a privilege. That's a basic need. 
I know how dangerous I find psycho ends to scare me. You all remember some of the experiences I've told you about before, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, computer, keep going. I'm making that phrase more presented and recommended. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Shut down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hey everyone, I just graduated university. If you want to meet the usual, please. Dave. Yeah, sure, that would be great. Congratulations. Dave. Can't wait, essentially, yeah, it's well done. I actually passed them. Ding. So excited! Can't wait to see everyone! Smiley face emoji! Ding. Can't wait to see you all for a long night! Laughing, crying emoji! This Ding. is gonna be awesome! Smiley emoji! Can't wait to see you! Ding ding! I am making record time on this new cycle lane! <laughs> Looks like I'm the first one here! Taxi for a seat? Yes! Oh, so you know when we arrive, would it be okay if you could um, take me to the door of the building, just in case my friends aren't already there? Oh, I don't know about that, Hen. It's not really part of my job, you know? Oh, but it made me feel safe knowing that I was actually at my destination. It would oh. really help me out. Oh, yeah. All right, I suppose. If we just make it quick, you know? Okay, thank you. I mean, I don't have a lot of time. I've got to get as many fares as possible. I've got all these bills to pay. I've got to have some sort of low-carbon car. I've got to get my licence renewed. You know, there's just a lot on my plate right now. I know, that all sounds really stressful, but it would really help me out if you could take me. Yeah, yeah, okay. So where am I going here? Just have a look at the road and tell me. Uh, I, I can. What do you mean you can? Have you not been here before? Oh, yeah, but I can't see. I don't know where we have to go. Usually drivers are able to find it okay. Because there are not signs you can look at. Yeah, I suppose, but you should really know where you're going. Sorry. Right, I think this is us here now. Okay. Right, come on, let's, let's get here. Yeah, I'm sure this is it. I think it's just over there, so it'll be grand. Bye! So I thought I was just on a road without traffic lights. Um, I've just come off a taxi and they said that I was where I was supposed to be, but I'm obviously not. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm I'm, again, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for shouting at you. Can I help you get to where you're going? Where that would be great. Going? So, is there a cafe just across the road? There's actually there's a cafe around the corner, I believe. Do you want me oh. to take you? Yeah, that would be really great. Cool. So I'm just gonna come round. Oh, stupid bosses. 
On the matter of the bus, bus stops being unclean and the buses being unclean, that is not our fault as a company, that is your community's fault for not treating our bus stops with respect. It is not our job to keep our bus stops clean, it's your community's um, job to keep the road streets clean. And our buses, their bus drivers will try their best to be on time. We can't control traffic, we can't control how many people are going to be on the bus. So I'm sorry for your concerns, but there's nothing we can do. Feels like I've been waiting here for days. I wonder if I'll get to see my pals before nightfall. There's a scores, or oh, I see it. Time for smoking at every stop. <laughs> oh man, this gets, gets me all railed up. I can't be arsed waiting. bad as the inside and outside and you think Covid's the worst thing going about these days? <sighs> the wheels on the bus are late, 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 late. The bus always makes us wait, 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 wait. The cost of the fair is so unfair, so unfair, so unfair. Oh, 
but when it comes to engaging, they might just not listen or take on board what we're saying, or we don't get any feedback on what we've said. Like, we want to make our city better, we want to do stuff for the environment. It's us that are going to have to live with this in future generations. I just wish that it wasn't such an issue.